Hey everybody, what's going on? Baro here, back inside of Borderlands, the pre-sequel, with some good news. Today was a little bit of an announcement of some DLC, one of which is free, and one of which is paid for. So let's go ahead and go over the free thing. But before we jump too much into that, I want to say there's a lot of there's a lot of bad things happened recently within the last week. We know that. There's still some issues with the game. There was always issues with Borderlands 2. At the end of the day, I'm still a Borderlands fan, and I want to see the game succeed. So if they can make something entertaining to play, I'm going to keep playing it. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into what the first thing they are going to be announcing is. And that is going to be a UVHM as well as a level pack upgrade. That's correct. We're going to be able to have UVHM coming with resettable, resettable story mode as well as a level cap that brings us to level 60, so 10 extra levels. Now, there's been no word on this whether or not this is going to uh, add Pearl Essence, as Borderlands 2 added Pearl Essence with the UVH impact, but uh, this will allow you to get to level 60. It will give you 10 additional skill points to work with, which means I believe you'll be able to hit all 10 capstones. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really mess around too much with that, but you are going to be able to have those 10 skill points and you're going to be able to go through the game on a harder difficulty. Now, I don't know if they're going to do the same thing that they did with Borderlands 2 UVHM, which is where they ended up making slag mandatory. Uh, but I don't think they're going to be doing the same thing with Cryo. Only time is really going to tell with that type of thing. We don't, we don't, we don't, we're not really aware of what exactly is going to be happening with that. But either way, I do like the fact that this update is actually free and you don't have to pay for it. So that is a step in the right direction with that kind of thing. And we kind of knew that it was going to be happening. I mean, with all the uh, quote kind of UVHM um, things appearing on the console, we knew it was going to happen. But next up, we have the Hollow Dome DLC which did not give too much information about outside of Outside of uh, meeting Axton and Gage and facing off against waves and waves of enemies. As well as finding new weapons, new class mods, and new bosses and new enemies and things like that. So, I mean, it could be interesting. We don't know. I, I, we don't know what exactly they plan on adding into this. This could be an amazing DLC or this could be a terrible DLC. We don't really know. Once we have more information, I would love to give it to you all, but this is what we have so far. So we've got the Hollow Dome DLC and the UVA Gym Pack, as well as the Level Up upgrade, coming soon. And I want to I want to ask you all, how do you all feel about this? Now I know we have our feelings about the whole patching that recently happened, and you know I I, I I've 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 had my same issues with it. But at the end of the day, I'm still a Borderlands fan. Borderlands is still my favorite series. And if they can make something that's awesome to play and stream, I'll do that. But they just got to make it happen. And maybe this will make it happen. Who knows? Who knows? You all let me know in the comment section below how you all feel about this. We'll be going through a few more in-depth discussions about what could possibly happen with UVHM as well as having 10 extra skill points, what's going to be in the Hollow Dome DLC. And we'll discuss that throughout the, throughout the week here. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, help support me in what I do, and don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.